All right, YouTube. So we're doing a project for the RF2 from Georgia. We're looking for paint. I look at some of the uh, paint can stuff. And this is probably the closest I found to it. Right where it's at. That's where it doesn't have any of that lacquer. What happened was it lacquered over the blade, so that's why I have the yellow tint. But I got some of it off right there. So that's the exact coloration. That's called Neu Neuer. Um, so I'm looking for that. The well, only thing I think is in a can is a, is a oh, paint bucket. And I don't want to pay that much for a bucket. And this is close, and it's hard to get with the light being right here. But it'd be a little bit too light, and it would bug me. So I don't think I'm going to find it here at Lowe's. I'm going to go to Home Depot. Uh, after that, probably like an arts and crafts store. And then maybe an automotive store. So i keep you guys updated with uh, my progress. But I guess I have an idea what the color looks like. So, yeah. Thanks. See you guys next door. Alright guys, we're at Home Depot now. Let's see if I can sort of focus correctly on that coloration. I put the light on this time so you can kind of see. That's about the exact coloration right there. We got charcoal. Put it off by a little bit lighter. We got this one, which is darker. And this one, which is pretty close, but it's black and it's got like glitter in it. So. Charcoal so far is the closest. I'm gonna go to Michael's next and see what they got paint lines there. I would have thought finding this color gray would be so hard. I got the flash on so you can't really... There we go. See right there? That's where I got... Right there is where I got some of that uh, lacquer off. So much glare in here. It's just hard to get focus. Either way, this nor is the, is the color I need. So, let's see where I can go next door. Alright, so we're in a Walmart right now. I just find this Mistolium primer. And honestly, that's very close. Like I said, once again, I think it's a little, a little sparkly. Can't see it. It might just be the cap. But the only problem is it's a primer. But it's pretty close. I think I'm gonna go home, ready the footage, and uh, honestly check everything to the motor. Um, but see what happens. So I'll check back in with you guys later on. All right, YouTubers. So there's the motor. As you can see, the motor is actually darker. So the bracket was lighter in the spot for some reason. So I said, "Fuck it, I'm bringing the motor now." <laughs> Um, luckily I think there was a color that was darker than that was darker than that in the Home Depot video. And I bet you that's gonna be my best bet. The only thing it's gonna be a little glossy, I think. Um, so we'll see what happens. So yeah, back to Home Depot. This isn't weird at all. No, right? This isn't weird at all, right? <laughs> the Home Depot. Um, I think this was the best selection for the paint. Okay, so this is a bit close. I'm about the entire motor here, and we're gonna see what we can find. So. Yeah, see what happens. All right, YouTubers. So I brought the motor in because the motor is actually a little bit darker than that bracket was, and that looks to be a very close, if not acceptable, finish. So I'm probably gonna buy this and deal with it. This is a flat black, actually, and so. Like I said, it's about the same with that color. It's hard to say. But, like I said, I need this mainly just for the down rod and the switch cap. So, I'm going to use it and deal with it. So, thanks for coming on this adventure. Mm -hmm. I'm so still in Home Depot. I'm currently looking for a hook, actually, for the porcelain grommet. So I realize I only have one antique ceiling fan hook. So, I mean, I found some hooks, some way too small, some too, too big. So, nothing exact yet. I'm gonna get looking around, see what I can find. Alright, so, 
I got the paint. I found the closest thing I could, which is this uh, eye ring. A screw eye, one more thing. Um, it's the right side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up. That should work. I don't actually have screws this size. But this looks like it's the right size, so we're gonna do a little test and see how it comes out. As an added bonus, so you get to see the outdoor light around since it's so long. The Hampton Bays have been here for the longest time since I lived here. And a lot of them got replaced with some industrials. So they're honestly not mounted the best. Uh, most of them look like they're falling off their hook and they're just supported by the chains. That one's just completely off. That comes out see how crooked it is. There's that. On that way. Slowing over the register. That crooked one all the way in the back over there. Two more Hampton Bay things. Two more around. One's around pretty slow. No one more. Oh, there you go. There's that one I was talking about. As you can see from this angle, we got back up. There. Look at it just right there. Yeah, just see up there. The mounts of ball and socket. That one up there is out of it. My apologies, you don't get zoom in. Alright, so this is a zoomed in portion of the video. And you can see it's still the ball and socket from the Hampton Bays. They literally just hung them on the ball and socket brackets. And you can see that one there failed and it's just dangling by the safety cable. So that's what we're saying. Alright, so I'm back at home. Um, what you is that, that I'm probably actually going to cut a small chunk out of that and then bend it open a little bit and that should work for a hook and you see I also grabbed me a can of this gloss uh, this is dark slate this is the darkest gray they had as you see it's not exactly dark enough for the fan but I have this on this flat black I'm gonna try mixing it and seeing if we can get a combination close to this so, see what we get all right so as you see I did a test I mixed a uh, that dark slate color with some flat gray. And it gave me a, a decent dark gray color. I did do a little bit on the fan right here. Kind of see where it's still a little wet. It's a little darker still. So I might have to tweak with it. Uh, I just want to see how it dries and go from here. So, but it's not bad. Like, like I said, I, I, this isn't the reason I'm just doing this little touch up thing is just so I can make sure the color is somewhat correct. That glare. There we go. So you can see it's just a little bit darker, so I could probably got less black in it and more gray. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> 